In this episode of Video Quick Tips, I'm going to show you how to get three for one. Welcome to Video Quick Tips. I'm Bill Meckett. I'm going to show you how to get three for the price of one. We're not talking about buying anything. We're talking about shooting. Now, I am not a fan of a lot of camera movements in video. I like the action to take place in the frame. But sometimes there comes occasion when you want to do, say, a zoom out from a tight shot of a sign on a building to a wide shot of the building. Now, what I'm going to tell you to do here is set up your shot, frame it, hit record, and don't touch the camera for 10 to 15 seconds. When you count to 15, now do your zoom out, you get to your wide shot, hold that, for 10 to 15 seconds. They may ask, why? Well, I'm going to tell you, and it could save your bacon in the editing bay. When you get into the edit booth and you've got just the shot of the zoom, say you didn't get enough head or tail on the shot and your zoom is 20 seconds long, but the hole you have to fill is 10 seconds long, what are you going to do? Well, if you did the three for one, you can take five seconds of the close up, five seconds of the wide shot edit them together and accomplish the same goal with a cut. Or it could be the opposite. Maybe you have a 20 second hole to fill and your zoom was only 10 seconds. Well now you have some head and tail that you can leave on those shots and fill that 20 second gap. You might want to rethink that. That's an awfully long shot when it comes to video. Most time video shots, say in a news report, are four to six seconds long. But you want to give yourself some head and tail at the beginning of the shots because when you get into the edit bay, it can save your butt. That's it for this edition of Video Quick Tips. I'm Bill Mecca. See you next time. The year is 1973. Historical events fill our television screens from Watergate to the Vietnam War. And from the Pascagoula Gulf Coast and all around the world, UFOs are being reported in ever-increasing numbers. Join us as we explore UFO sightings in 1973.